Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing very well uh, and staying healthy through these challenging times. Uh, we're gonna be flying the plane from White Plains to Teterboro. It's a short flight, uh, but on this video, I wanted to walk you through one of the processes that I do uh, before I even go out to the airport. After I've done my flight planning, after I've done check the NOTAMs, done all my weight and balance, uh, weather, all of that stuff, we file something called a FRAT report, which is a, a safety uh, management report. It's part of our SMS program. Um, which is a safety management system. And I file it and it gets sent to the aircraft manager um, for his review because oversight is incredibly important in any operation. Uh, the more eyes, the more experience uh, that look at a certain flight or any flight uh, makes it a safer flight. So on this one, I'm gonna show you uh, what I do here. We're gonna come down here. So we're here in White Plains to Teterboro, to Romeo Foxtrot, I'm the pilot in command. Um, so here it has the qualifications, experience, duty time. So I have more than 200 hours in type, so we're not gonna check that. It is single pilot tomorrow, so we're gonna hit that. I have about 72 hours in the last 90 days, so we're gonna hit this. There's no SIC tomorrow. All of this things, it's one leg, um, short flights, that's good. Um, again, we reviewed all the NOTAMs and weather, all of this stuff. So again, Teterboro, um, doesn't apply to any of these things. It is in the class bar of space, so we'll hit that. There is a glide slope, so we'll hit that. So that's minus two points. It is a nice day tomorrow. It's nice VFR day, so we'll hit that. And then definitely not international flight. And then we'll come down here to the operating equipment, which means is there any NOTAMs um, that affect the safety flight? No. Any uh, minimum equipment list items that affect the safety? There's not. The plane's in great condition. No TFRs. And we do not need a ferry permit. So we come up here, we look at our score, which is eight points, which is very good. If we had more than 16, it goes yellow. And that means that we must discuss with the uh, uh, aircraft manager and discuss how can we get those risks down and, and talk about the flight. If it's more than 30, it must be canceled because it has too great of a risk. So here, what we'll do is we'll come here and hit sign. Yes, we agree, we've filled this out and we can see it's verified and signed, and we'll come up here, and we'll go save, yes. So now this gets emailed to our aircraft manager for his review, he'll call me in about, I would say about half an hour, and uh, we'll discuss it. Even if it's not, um, we don't get 15 points, we still discuss for every flight, I'll walk him through the weather, flight planning, no TAMs, anything, um, good, bad, whatever with the flight, um, and we'll talk about it. And I think that's why having an aircraft manager, having oversight um, is incredibly important because the more things you can do to, to minimize risk, to increase the safety of the operation, anything from part 91, 135, doesn't matter what it is, but uh, um, it's a really important thing and something that we take very, very seriously. Hope you uh, enjoyed this little uh, insight on, on one of the procedures that, uh, that I do. And uh, we'll see you at the airplane here um, probably in about 10 seconds. Um, be well. Hope everyone's uh, hanging there. And uh, we'll see everyone out the airport. Bye-bye. We're going from uh, here in White Plains to Teterboro with a little bit of a detour on the way to do some checks. So everyone's doing well, staying healthy, and uh, let's get this uh, flight going. Checklist up here, most important thing here. All right, oxygen system is in check. Circuit breakers are in on my side. I checked that side, it looks good to me. Gens are off at the GPU start. Good, good, good. Right, battery is good. We got 28 volts. That checks on the GPU. Installation has been completed. Parking brake is set. Verified for the cast. Wheel chocks are removed. Cabin door is closed. I close it. AC, which is important to turn off 
as that takes additional load on the starter. So we just want to make sure that is off, which is off. Last thing you do before we start the engines, double check the winds. We see it's good. Number two, firing up. Clear on the right, which is clear on the right. And here we go. There's N2, there's fuel flow, ignition, oil pressure, light off. Best sound in the business right there. And the relay is out, Jen's taking the load. N2, ignition, N1, oil pressure. I just want to keep your hands on the throttles just in case you do have to abort the start. And the relay is out. Gents, take the load. We'll give them the sign here. Disconnect the GPU. All right, trims are squared, flight controls. I'm up, I'm down, free and correct. Speed brake check now, speed brakes are up, and they're down. All right, ice protection is not needed, avionics are checked and set. It's Westchester 7 departure off of runway 16. We'll look at the procedure here one more time. We looked at it earlier, but we'll look at it again here. Always good to triple, double check everything here. So off of 16, it's heading 163 to 800 feet, then our right turn heading 320. We want to exceed 190 knots until we're established on that 320 heading, and 320 is bugged. It's going to be 1-6 departure, probably just take uh, Alpha down to 1-6. Alternators are set, 30.05, three times set. Elevation is Teterboro. Messages are normal for now. Afterriders, good. No one's flying today. Pack safety switch is good, lights to go. And we have Adis Lima. Ground citation, T Romeo Fox, it is Lima at Ross for taxi. T Romeo Fox, I wish just around from Ross East. Yes, Ross East uh, with Lima, please for taxi, thanks. T Romeo Fox, short runway 16, taxi via Alpha. 16 via Alpha, T Romeo Fox, thanks. Okay, clear left, clear right. Actually, these good brakes are tested. Those feel actually very nice. Just steering is checked, flight instruments are good, and rudder bias to go. So we'll do the right first. We'll look for that right pedal to get pushed down, which it does. All right, we'll do the left now. That's good, rudder bias check is complete. All right, inspection is not needed, passenger seats not applicable today. Flaps 15, indicating 15. Trims one, two, three times are set. Crew briefing. Uh, it's a nice day here in White Plains. Speeds are 100, 101, 111, 130. Uh, any issues below V1 of 100 knots, it's max braking, thrust levers idle, speed brakes up. I'll advise air traffic control of our intentions after we do verify that we have maintained directional control and have safely stopped the airplane on the runway or have taxied off. Anything above 100 knots, let's continue. We'll rotate at 101. We'll plan to come back land here at 1016. We have maintenance here. We have. It's our home base. We'll come back, land here on 16, plan a left or right traffic, depending. Go around button is set, takeoff, nav, and VNAV is selected.
And then clear for takeoff items next. Officer, good afternoon. This time of year, have to be considerations for birds coming out of here, so that would be also something we'll have to keep our eyes out for. And Tower, good afternoon. Citation to Romeo Fox. We're coming up on 1 6 ready in sequence. Citation to Romeo Fox, your west Shasta Tower, wind 107, runway 1 6, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 1 6, citation to Romeo Fox, Shasta, thanks. All right, clear right, final is clear, clear left, heats, lights. Messages are normal. We'll verify on the checklist that we have completed our items, which we have. One six checks. Stable. Take off. Takeoff power is set and achieved. Two good engines. Airspeed is alive both sides. 70 knots. Checks. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up, please. V2 plus 10. Flaps up. Your dampener. Flight level change. Climb power. There's 800 feet. Start that turn. Citation to Romeo Fox Shot. Right hand turn, contact departure 120.8. Have a good flight. 20.8, citation to Romeo Fox Shot. Good day. Birds, uh, just about 1,300 feet on the departure. See ya. Thank you. Citation to Romeo Fox Shot, 1,900, climbing 3,000 on the Westchester. How you doing? Citation to Romeo Fox Shot. Your radar contact, climb and maintain 1 1,000. Good to hear your voice. 1-1, 1, 1, 11,000, good to hear your voice, also, for T. Romeo Fox. Hey, Max. Hey, what's up? 5 6, six seven, nine, are your radar contact. Remain beneath the floor of the Bravo for now, and you said you're going to Farmingdale? That's affirmative, sir. You're going to Farmingdale. Main beneath the Bravo, 6679. Alright, we're on that yeah, 320 heading 6, now. 9, Romeo Lima, climbing through 2900 for 3500. We're above the Bravo now, climb power. Four, Autopilot's coming on. 11,000 is bugged two times. 320 heading. Citation 2 Romeo Fox to right direct Grecky. Right direct Grecky, citation 2 Romeo Fox. Alright, keep that right turn coming. Alright, we got all our friends out today. We love it. Toby's the best in the business. He's working us on the ATC right now. Oh, and 90 crew is just fantastic, but uh, four, five, zero, eight, X-ray traffic. it's great when you have some close three miles buddies of yours working you in the, in the air. And when they're uh, top-notch too, it's just uh, it's, it's a privilege. Number nine, Romeo Lima, traffic 11 across, two miles, opposite direction, 4,000 across. All right, I have to take off, gears up, flaps are up, throttles are climbing. Number two, Romeo Fox, contact departure, 120.85. 120.85, 2 Romeo Fox shot. See ya! 9 Romeo, traffic in sight. 735, Yankee Challenge, Yankee Approach, uh, Stuart Alex, Miss 3003. We'll finish our checks up here. Alright, lights. Pressurization is climbing, diff is coming up, all minutes to go. Next departure, good afternoon, citation 2 Romeo Fox, 9000 climbing, 1 1000. Uh, Roger, uh, contact New York approach 12020 when you're done. All right, 1,000 to go. We're above 10,000 feet, so we can uh, accelerate to 250 knots. 2402 to right to Neon, New York Center 132.17. 
Direct knee on 32-17-24-2. Good day. Number two, Romeo Fox, I'll direct to Grecky, maintain 17,000. Direct Grecky, 17,000, citation to Romeo Fox. Number three, Lima Tango, uh, you're going to start your defense. 17,000. I see it. We'll start Number that three, climb. Number three, Lima Tango, All right, climb power. Go flight level change. Number Yankee, uh, five Yankee Charlie, Roger. Number six seven three, contact Bradley approach one two. All right, about ten thousand feet now. Stereo cockpit can go away. So welcome aboard, everyone. Everyone's doing well. So we're flying uh, today up to uh, to do some just do some checks on the airplane, make sure everything is working as it should before we start doing our uh, start our regular flying schedule again. So we're going to do all our anti-ice checks, um, just make sure the pressurization system is working, and uh, stuff like that. Hope everyone is staying well and healthy. Got uh, definitely some challenging times out there, but uh, I know the uh, we'll get through it, and I know the aviation community and industry will too. 34-3, citation to Romeo Fox, good day. Boston Center, good afternoon. Citation to Romeo Fox, drop 15, 3, climbing to 17,000. Citation to Romeo Fox, drop Boston Center, climb and maintain flight level 260. Climb maintain 260, citation to Romeo Fox. All right, 26, I see it. And number two, Romeo Fox, I did see your uh, remarks in there that you were looking to just get up to altitude. Um, I own most of the airspace along that route that you had filed anyway, so uh, if you want to just fly the route, that's fine with me, um, or I can give you vectors to keep you up at altitude until you're ready to go to Cedar Road. Just let me know. Okay, Roger, I appreciate that. Uh, we just need to do some, uh, some maintenance checks, but uh, if you need to vector us for traffic, that's not a problem at all. We just need to get to altitude and, uh, and check some stuff out. Okay, sounds good. Just let me know when you're ready to go back. Appreciate it. Thanks for your help. All right, 18,000 standards and standards. You guys can see the route, and I'll, we put the uh, the route up on the, uh, see it on the screen here shortly, uh, from, uh, from Four Flight. Basically, it's, this is kind of the traditional, if airplanes need to do maintenance checks or, or maintenance runs here in, um, in, Z and y, in the ZNY airspace, right, in this RTAC. Um, of the kind of New York metropolitan area is this is a kind of a, a very usual route that they'll they'll give and it just basically keeps you out of um, you know the crazy airspace and kind of lets you do a majority of the uh, um, of your things that you need to get done without causing issues to anyone else which is which is kind of cool so and just a quick note also you know we briefed on the birds thing right on on, on our takeoff briefing 1,000 to go on our takeoff breathing, and that is always good to talk about and to verbalize, because what happened, we're at 1,300 feet, and we saw birds, I saw birds right above us, we were climbing pretty steep, and, you know, I really believed, because we said something, because we, you know, verbalized it, um, we were even more conscious and aware of that, so um, I think that's really, really important. All right, so we're leveling here at 26,000 feet. All right. I'm going to do some checks here. Make sure the pressurization, so cabin climbed. We're going to make sure the rate's going to stabilize. The diff climbed also and stabilized. So that looks good to me. I'm going to start speeding up here. So we're going to do a couple checks. We're going to just put on the uh, wing and engines, make sure everything is just working as it should. We're going to put the we're going to just put the wing and engines on for now. Just make sure we don't get any cast messages. We lose some performance, which is normal. Again, it, it's cold up here, so it's it's all good. Just make sure that everything's kind of working as it should. All right, so check's good there. We're going to put the tail on. Now we're going to put the engine, the windshield bleed airs on just to make sure. All 
Delta number two, Romeo Fox, contact Boston Center, 135.32. 3532, two Romeo Fox, good day. Okay. Boston Center, good afternoon, citation, two Romeo Fox, level 260. Citation, two Romeo Fox, contact Boston Center, Roger. Alright, so everything it took some bleed air away, tail's doing its thing, it's basically how the, the tail works, um, it's boots, and it has six second intervals, so it'll go left, middle, right, for six seconds each, and then it has a, a cool down period, so it goes 666, and then it'll be off for, uh, for three minutes, and then it will start the cycle again in the auto position, if you did it in manual, it would obviously just constantly keep going. All right, that old checks. All right, we're gonna do some more checks here and we'll uh, we'll turn off the cameras here and we'll talk to everyone on the descent into Teterboro. We'll talk to everyone in a little bit. All right, so we're back. We did all our checks. Everything was working perfectly. Um, it's just a great thing to do if the plane's been sitting. We've done some engine runs. We do engine runs every uh, every two weeks on the ground, but if it's really sitting for more than a month or so, you really do want to just kind of run it uh, up in the air and, and make sure everything's working. So we did it, everything is checks, so that will go uh, as, a, as, a, as a two thumbs up. We're, give us descent over 18 here, um, so we can see we're about 139 miles from Teterboro. So that looks good. We'll be keeping the plane at Teterboro, um, only because White Plains is closing for a month. Uh, they're doing a major runway uh, renovation on, on the main runway 1634. So, uh, you know, just in case, you know, the you know stuff starts to open up and the world starts to kind of uh, come back to whatever the uh, the new normal is going to be, um, we need to be able to uh, be able to fly for the boss. So. Um, so that is kind of why we're going to Teterboro. Um, we're going to be at Jet Aviation, so they're, they've been very, very kind and nice and, and, and welcoming. So we fly in there today and keep the plane at Teterboro for about a month or so until White Plains opens back up and then head back to White Plains. So just a temporary little reposition. But we were, uh, yeah, so that, that's kind of what's been going on. On, on this flight, really. So let's start getting some stuff ready for the arrival in the Teterboro. So descent checks, windshield, windshield defog system is not required. Pressurization is set Teterboro 8 feet. Altimeters, she hasn't given us anything yet. And lights are good for now. So that is... Two Romeo Foxtrot cross camo at maintain 7000. Sister with altimeter 3003. Camo at 7,3003, citation to Romeo Foxtrot. All right, so Camo here, we'll go in the VNAV page. Camo at 7,000 feet, at 7,000, create. Three degrees, perfect. We'll set 7,000 feet. Set 7,000, two times. All right, so they're doing the ILS-6, which is interesting because the Winds are 160 at 9. Papa, contact Boston Center, one, two, three, so it's a direct crosswind. Okay. 2375. Five Whiskey Pop, good day. Yeah. All right, ILS-6 vectors. And uh, we're going to do a really good brief on this approach because Teterboro it has some really funky procedures that uh, um, if we're on our A game, every airport we go to, we got to be on our A-plus game for this airport. So the ILS-6 reads, the localizer is 108.9, the final approach course is 060. The glide slopes at uh, 13, uh, 1284, excuse me, 206 of the mins, that's 200 above the ground. So 206 is selected. In a missed approach, just climb to 1,000 feet, then a climbing left turn to 2,500 feet, outbound on the Teterboro 335 radial to pattern and hold. Now. There's a, the times I've gone to Teterboro, there's, they have mandatory out, mandatory altitude crossing. So if we look down here, so Vings is at 2,000 feet, but Dandy, mandatory 1,500 feet at Dandy. Once we pass Dandy, we go down to 1,300 feet, where we'll, uh, we'll be at Torby, and we can get on the glide slope there. 
and then plan the uh, the ILS to uh, to runway six. We'll see if they give us the circle. I know Teterboro, they like to do that, um, but maybe today will just be the straight in for six. We'll see. All right, so that is good there, but yeah, very important. Dandies at 1,500 feet. Banks at two, Dandies at 15, Glide Slopes right there at 13 over Torby. All right, cool. 206 is set, I see it. We'll get be visual at the airport though. And uh, that looks good at all checks and we'll load it up. All right, one minute from top of descent. I'm gonna put the uh, chart on the uh, screen over here. So chart selection, approach the ILS six. Perfect. Uh, parking consideration into Teterboro. Let's look here, Teterboro will be uh, landing as right now runway six. We'll plan to exit probably Charlie or we'll exit uh, Quebec, hotel to Quebec. And then we'll go into Jet Aviation, which is down here on the on the side of the airport. So uh, our hope is we'll get Lima down to Jet. So maybe right Charlie, right Lima into Jet Aviation would be, would be good. So we're coming up on a VNAP path. VNAP path is checked. We're coming down the hill. All right, so right turn off, coming off of six. All right, crew briefing, it's briefed. The landing data needs to come in now. So landing data, ILS six, we're gonna be an 11,600 pound airplane. The weather will load it up. We got 6,000 feet of runway. Altimeter is below 18, 3003 is set three times. Flaps 35, the anti-ice is off and the factor is good. And we'll load it up. So 112, 104, we have 6,000 available and we need 2,700. Okay, perfect. All right, avionics are set. Fuel transfer is off. Right, Boston, yeah, and, uh, Exterior lights are good. Passing, uh, for, uh, passengers, no passengers today. Seatbelts are good. Passenger seats are good. Passenger seats are good. Messengers are normal. We got nothing. And the pressurization is descending. Before landing checks to go. Delta 73, contacting York Center, 125.32. One other cool thing, uh, if you're on Instagram, I have an Instagram uh, account, which uh, when we're not posting YouTube content, we post uh, daily vlogs and, and all sorts of fun stuff on there. It's been super enjoyable to kind of build that YouTube, ch uh, the Instagram channel. Uh, if you do have Instagram, my name is Citation Max, the number one, Citation Max one. Uh, if you do, give us a, give me a follow. It'd be super, super awesome. And uh, I know a lot of people like it because you know we film for YouTube, you know, when we can, right? When, when, when the boss is on board, we don't, you know, we don't film um, unless you put the curtain on. That's why a lot of the times um, when you see just me and another pilot flying, we only, uh, uh, it's what we're doing like a dead leg, right? So we just dropped him off and we're flying home, we're flying to him. Um, that's a lot of times why you see that. Um, the owner of the airplane, um, whenever he's on board, there's always two pilots, there's always two, um, you know, very experienced, uh, pilots uh, so I, you know I believe that two two pilots are fantastic um, I always enjoy flying a vanilla pilot it's um, really really good to work in the crew environment to have an extra set of eyes is super super important um, and I think it's uh, I've always the guys we fly Brian and Steven um, it's Sheldon the, the whole guy it's a great group it really is so it's been uh, learned a lot from those guys um, they've been mentors to me it's been a really, really great, great experience, and and obviously that will continue for forever, forever long we fly. You know, it, it, there's something about working in the crew environment. It's like, it's like putting a puzzle together or like painting a. a it's it's just. Station two, Romeo Fox Drive set. Traffic at 11 o'clock, about uh, four miles, kind of orbiting in the area there. Is on a glider code, showing 5,000. Um, the first couple hits I've gotten on him, so just keep an eye out. Two Romeo Fox, we're looking. Thank you. All right, we're looking for the glider, 11 o'clock. Okay, below 10 degrees outside, we're going to put the engines on for now.
Bumpy in the clouds here. No ice on the wing so far. Hey, and triple four, Papa Charlie, your radar contact, the steward altimeter is 3003. Oh, no ice. Chinese Eastern 588, contact Boston Center 135.32. That's kind of a Boston Center, 3, 5, 2, pretty 2. day out there in the clouds. It's, it's very pretty. Citation 2, Romeo Fox, try to maintain 6,000. 6,000, Citation 2, Romeo Fox, 6,000. Well, thank guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, the greatest way that you can show support to my channel is hitting that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so everyone gets notifications when we do post a video. Um, 1,000 to go. But uh, if you are enjoying the video, uh, we also if you hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it, so thank you. Citation 2, Romeo Foxtrot, contact New York Approach, 128.55, say. 28.55, Citation 2, Romeo Foxtrot, good day. 004. United 331, uh, 1300, climbing at 3000 on the Newark 4. United 331, the airport contact, climb and maintain 10,000. I maintain 10, 000, United 331. November 9, Hotel Golf, Altima, I'm going to put the engines back on here. I see some clouds dropping ahead of us. Uh, eight, uh, 929, Hotel Golf. November 9, Hotel Golf, Altima, 3003. Sorry, my mistake. 3003. 929 Hotel Golf. United 331, turn left heading 260. I think I know that guy, that's Rudy. Okay, to uh, instructed at a, a, a flight school I used to be a part of. Actually, uh, worked at that flight school, did uh, contract uh, pilot services work for that uh, for that operator uh, for about a year and a half. I was uh, flying different owners around in there. I started 22, was employed by them. Your approach, good afternoon, citation 2 Romeo Fox 6000 Echo. November 2, Romeo Fox, right New York, Roger, proceed direct Wings for an ILS runway 6 approach, Altimeter 3004. All right, 3004, direct Wings for the ILS 6 to Romeo Fox. 3004, fellas, left turn, direct Wings. Wings, direct, activate. Left turn, direct Wings. All right, no ice, looking good. Air approach, Piper 7185, Foxtrot, 2000 VFR. All right, Redrick Vings at 6000, looking good. Uh, 85 Foxtrot, we're just off uh, at a DWR 2000. Uh, would like to uh, fly the Hudson River at 2000 uh, to the Bravo if possible. All right, what else do you want, 85 Foxtrot? Uh, 2000, 1500, whatever you can accommodate. All right, 85 Foxtrot, you clear into the uh, Bravo. You can maintain uh, 2000, and you want to say 2000 or 2500? Uh, 2000 is good, 85 Foxtrot. All right, we'll stay ahead of the airplane here. Right, we'll put the tower you frequency turn in. around and go up the Hudson, is that what you're doing? Which at uh, Newark is going to be uh, 195, we'll get that standby. So 85 Foxtrot, you're going to turn around, go up to the GW. They're working uh, everything to today, so from we'll just keep 195 in uh, there. Sorry, 85 Foxtrot, we'll go. We'll put ground in just in case, to the GW which is going to be 219 if they do do that. There you go. So we're headed to the airplane. Foxtrot, thanks. And November 85 Foxtrot, proceed on course, Delta 3004. 3004, on course, 85 Foxtrot. Delta 322, descend and maintain 3000. Delta 322, descend and maintain 3000. November 7185 Foxtrot, contact, uh, actually, you know what, stand by. You sure feel like it's summertime's coming. Those are summertime bumps. Nothing on the wings, perfect. November 85 Foxtrot, contact uh, Newark Tower, 118.3. Newark 118.3. November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, descend to maintain 4000. 
4000, citation to Romeo Foxtra. November 9, Hotel Golf, as soon as you can, start a VFR descent to 2500. Uh, Roger, starting VFR descent to 2000, 99 Hotel Golf. Uh, 2500. Uh, Roger, 2500, 99 Hotel Golf. What kind of speech do you need for two Romeo Fox? Two Romeo Fox, speed your discretion to send a 2000. Not a 2000, speed our discretion to Romeo Fox, appreciate it. Yep. November 734, Alpha Uniform, contact Philly on 124.35. Start to slow down. Uh, we don't have to here. We, we can slow these up. I'm just going to do a speed brake check. Heading, uh, just to make sure that's working in the air. 200 on the heading, uh, 91 heavy. Two rigs extend, and they're deployed over there. Perfect. That works. Everything's working. And deployed, uh, retracted. Two Romeo Fox, equip the approach. Two Romeo Fox, I just about to clear you. Three from Bing, turn left heading 090, maintain two to old establish, clear to ILS 6 approach. All right, left turn 090, 2000 to establish, get the ILS 6, uh, two Romeo Fox, thank you. Three Mike Alpha, radar contact, All right. miles northwest of uh, Old Bridge, proceed on course, Delta for 300. Okay, four heading select. We're three on the alpha. activate vectors to final now. That will give us the magenta line. We'll go nav, low, low green, icy green uh, dials and needles. Everything's working how it should. I don't think that vector's going to work. I don't think that vector is going to work. Yeah, remember two, Romeo Fox, try contact Tito Bortero, 119.5. At 195, I'm not sure that 90 heading's going to work for us to get down to Dandy at 15 before we're established. Uh, maybe like a 1-0 one, one heading to get back on? Two, Romeo Fox, try, that's fine, heading 1-1-0. One, one, All right, thank you, two, Romeo Fox. We'll hustle down. Thanks, two, Romeo Fox, try Tito Bortero, 19.5. At 19.5, good day, sir, two, Romeo Fox. All right, we got Loke ready to go. Runway 1, clear for takeoff. Runway 1, clear for takeoff. Loke, Loke capture. We'll put 1500 here in the dial. Again, Dandy, we got to be at 1500 feet, so we're going to go here. We're established on the localizer now. Sink that heading bug. And he's at 1,500 feet. We're hustling down. Speed checks below 200 knots. Flaps 15. Peterborough Tower, good afternoon. Citation to Romeo Fox, ILS 6. Station 2, Romeo Fox, Sean, Peterborough Tower. Wind 1707, seven, runway 6, clear to land. Stay parking. All right, clear land runway 6. We're parking jet aviation for 2 Romeo Fox. All right, flaps 15 checks. All right, we're at 1,500 feet over Dandy. That checks and confirms. So we did what we were on the chart, which is always good. And since we did that, we'll hit the approach button now. And we'll start slowing it back. Glide slope is alive. Gear down. Station correction, B shed one one Papa. Contact departure one two eight point five five. Have a nice day. Gear down three green no red. You have a great day. We'll see you at one Papa. And tower Terra Fox, sorry about the ET clear still hand, correct? Two Roma Fox at affirmative. You are cleared to land runway six. Wind one six zero nine. One sixty nine, thank you. Quit land six, two Romeo Fox. Alright, just want to double check that. Gear down three green. We're below 161. Let's go flaps 35. Speed checks. Good to go. Speed brake is down. We got three green flaps 35. Autopilot, your Autopilot. dampener is away. Before landing checks are complete with the missed approach altitude set to 2,500 feet. land, landing lights on. Coming off now, looking good.
500. Roger. Minimums. Minimums. There's 50 feet idle. Is that wind? Timber of tire pair on flight 144, hold short one left. Or one at Lima. Speed brakes. on flight 144, roger. Atlantic traffic on runway six, just be a second. Roger, thanks. Station two, Romeo Foxtrot, turn right, next way, Romeo, Quebec, hold short, runway one, remain this frequency. Right, Romeo, right, Quebec, hold short, runway uh, one, for two, Romeo Fox, thanks. Turning on flight 144, wind 170 at eight, runway six, correction, runway one, cleared for takeoff. Runway one, cleared for takeoff, Fairly All right. 144. Lights off, looking good. Right, Romeo, right, Quebec, holding short, runway one. Pups coming up. Clear left, clear right. All right, Quebec holding short runway one. That wind shifted right at that last minute and it really turned into a kind of a quartering tailwind uh, crosswind. That was interesting. All right, holding short, we got a traffic. We're gonna set the parking brake. Okay, after landing, that checks, flaps are up, Peters are off, ice protection's good, defog, we never used, but we just double check, that's off, we'll turn the AC off now. Romeo Foxtrot, cross runway one, taxi Lima Juliet to jet, see ya. All right, cross runway one, Lima Juliet to jet, to Romeo Foxtrot, see ya. Clear right, clear left. All right, everyone, welcome to Tito Bro. As some people call it Tito Hole, I call it Tito Bro because you know what, this airport its never done me wrong. Good controllers and uh, it's always, uh, always interesting times out of here, never a dull moment. If you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, greatly appreciate it. And we'll see everyone on the next video. Everyone be well, be healthy, and uh, we'll get through this all together. Take care everyone, we'll see ya.